that's what you're doing. Watching over her. He is, though. Aye, that's what I'm doing. Damn, I don't want this fight. But I do want it. Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so we here. Episode 10, Season 4. Now, the last episode was straight up phenomenal. That war between the Wildlings and the Wall, I mean, it just looked fantastic. I can just imagine what the war between the White Walkers and everybody else is going to look like. So now I am highly anticipating that season, whenever that happens. Anyways, for now, episode 10, we're about to find out what's going to happen with Tyrion. I'm hoping there's some kind of... Something gets him out of this. It seems like his ass is about to die, but hopefully... There's something. Let's check it out. Oh, he knew what was coming. You're wearing a black cloak again. I've been sent to negotiate with you. It appears my trusting nature got the better of me. It's happened before. I was hoping your loyalty was real when you pledged yourself to us, Jon Snow. Truly, I was. The Halfhand ordered me to join your army and bring back whatever information I could to Castle Black. Uh. You made me kill him, so you'd trust me. I was loyal. To him and to my Night's Watch vows. All of your vows. Well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she wasn't enough to turn you, eh? Were you enough to turn her? She put three hours in me, and I escaped. Did you see her again at Castle Black? Yes. Uh. And? She's dead. You're doing? We'll drink to her. No, I'm not drinking that shit. Of all the ways I'd kill you, poison would be the last. Mm. He was thinking like me. He grit. He grit. No, it's a proper northern drink, Jon Snow. Mm. You did well. Fought hard. Killed some of our strongest men. One of our giants went into your tunnel and never came out again. Mag the Mighty. He's dead. He killed my friend Gren. He was their king. The last of a bloodline that stretches back before the first men. Gren came from a farm. <laughs> So, you're here to strike a bargain. Turn your army around and go home. You know I know you're low on arrows. You're low on oil. You're low on men. How many are left? Fifty? I told Tormund and Durell. We have more than a thousand men. I showed you everything I had. The whole army, hundred thousand strong. And what did you do? You fired on us with everything you had. It wasn't much. As soon as I saw that, I sent 400 men to climb the wall, an unmanned stretch five miles west of here. A lot of them will die climbing, but most of them will be over by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's me being honest with you, Jon Snow, which is more than you've ever done for me. My people have bled enough. We're not here to conquer. We're here to hide behind your wall, just like you. We need your tunnel. You want to strike a bargain with me? Here's the bargain. You go back, you open the gates to us, and I swear to you that no one else will die. Refuse. And we'll kill every last man in Castle Black. Okay. Ah. Oh, that's why you're here. 
I reckon you could do it before any of them could stop you. They'll kill you, of course. They'll kill you slow. But you knew that when you came in here. Are you capable of that, Jon Snow? Got the key is Tell now. Man in his own tent when he's just offered you peace. Is that what the Night's Watch is? Is that what you are? Uh. You're attacking us! No, it's like you said, we don't have the men. Well, who the hell is this? Looking so tough right now, man. Stand down! I said my people have bled enough, and I meant it. Stannis, I knew it. Okay. Okay, Sir Davos, the stand is pulling up, looking strong. Stannis was disappointing me for a long time now. Oh, shit, why'd he try that? Who was that? Damn, that was stupid. Man. You're the king beyond the war. You know I am. Never had the pleasure. This is Stannis Baratheon, the one true king of the Seven Kingdoms. We're not in the Seven Kingdoms, and you're not dressed for this weather. It is customary to kneel when surrendering to a king. Uh. We do not kneel. I'll have thousands of your men in chains by nightfall. I've nowhere to put them, I've nothing to feed them. I'm not here to slaughter beat dogs. Their fate depends on their king. All the same. We did not nail. Take these men away. What a man of the night's watch doing in a wildling camp. I was sent to discuss terms with the king beyond the wall. You're speaking to the one true king boy. You will address him as your grace. I know he's the king. My father died for him. Man. My name is Jon Snow, your grace. Ned Stark's son. Your father was an honorable man. He was, Your Grace. What do you think he'd have done with him? Probably chopped his head off. I was this man's prisoner once. He could have tortured me, he could have killed me. But he spared my life. I think my father would have taken him prisoner. Hey. Listen to what he had to say. Very well, then. Take him. Your Grace, if my father had seen the things that I've seen, he'd also tell you to burn the dead before nightfall. All of them. You know Stannis believes it. He hasn't seen all kinds of shit in the fire. I would suggest... Milk of the poppies to ease his pain, but he's completely insensate. Bloody mud. The cause appears to be a manticore venom. It is the death's head manticore. Hmm. Yes, I've read a great deal about it. It's a horrible poison, usually Mantari in origin. Oh, oh he poisoned him? Nothing Prince Oberyn, as, as he was uh, getting his ass whooped? May, may, I, may I ask what you, what you think you're doing? Saving him. I wish it were otherwise, but... Sir Gregor is beyond saving. Well, well beyond. This, this man, not even a maester, let alone grand maester. That's for the best. <laughs> no maester knows how to save him. That is exactly the sort of arrogance that had him expelled from the Citadel, Your Grace. Rightly so, in my opinion. 
You're dismissed, Grand Maester. Please. Your Grace, this is, this is my laboratory. Not anymore. <laughs> you can save him. Difficult to say, Your Grace. But if my past work is any guide, <coughs> stand a chance. Do everything you can. Come to me for anything you need. Thank you, Your Grace. You should know, the process may change them. Somewhat. What? Will it weaken him? Oh, no. Very well, then. Man. He about to hit him with some old Captain America stuff. Not another word. We've been over this, the matter's closed. I'm opening it again. You were betrothed to Loras Tyrell. You're still betrothed to Loras Tyrell, and you will marry Loras Tyrell as soon as Tommen marries Marjorie. I will not. Do you think you'll be the first person dragged into a sept to be married against her will? When you marched into the throne room to tell me we'd won the Battle of Blackwater, do you remember? I was sitting on the Iron Throne with Tommen. I was about to give him essence of nightshade. That's how far I was willing to go when I thought someone awful had come to take my son away. No. Joffrey is dead. Marcel has been sold like livestock, and now you want to ship me off to Highgarden and steal my boy, my last boy. Marjorie will dig her claws in, you will dig your claws in, and you'll fight over him like beasts until you rip him apart. I will burn our house to the ground before I let that happen. And how will you do that? Fun. I'll tell everyone the truth. What truth would that be? Mm. You don't know, do you? He knows. You never believed it. How is that possible? We were right there in front of you and you didn't see us. One real look at your own children and you would have known. Known what? Yeah. Tywin. Everything they say is true about Jamie and me. No. no your legacy no, no, no. is a lie. No. I don't believe you. Damn it. He was really disgusted and upset with that. Yes, you do. Mm. Damn. What did she just set in motion? You must be proud of yourself. There's really nothing you wouldn't do, is there? For my family, no, nothing. I would do things for my family you couldn't imagine. Tyrion is your family. He's not. You don't get to choose. I do, so do you. you Yo, who the hell does Cersei think, think she is? Into this world? Are you really mad enough to blame him for that? He didn't decide to kill her. He was an infant. The disease doesn't decide to kill you. All the same, you cut it out before it does. What do you decide? I'll find you. No, no, I choose no. You. Those are words. Yes, like the ones I just said to Father. I told him. I told him. <laughs> I told him about us. He like. Told him. I told him I won't marry Loras Tyrell. I told him I'm staying right here with Tommen, with you. He will just accept that. Go and ask him. I don't think he's going to accept that. I don't choose Tywin Lannister. I don't love Tywin Lannister. I love my brother. Why'd you have to say it like that? People will whisper that they'll make their jokes. Let them. They're all so small I can't even see them. I only see what matters. Daenerys Germasmo Ayo Naijo Demas, Torzalti, Marino Daria, Andaro Si Hoinoro Si Elio Varu Daria. Approach, my friend. Yedal Bukhashkot Niesha. Oof. Why are you looking like that? Don't get too close. Ayo Jenman. This is Jaya Mayadro. He came from the sky. 
You're sober. <laughs> Black one. When she knows Sebastian, didn't you? The winged shadow. He came from the sky and... Oh. Oh. Damn. My girl. My little girl. Shit. What was her name? Zyla, your grace. How old was she? Three. Damn. Three. To save Vassir Drogon on the Toxtaur. That's what I'm saying. Her dragon's just flying around uncontrolled. Oh, okay, just that big one. You're gonna have to lock their asses up. to us from White Harbor and Barrowton, from Fair Market and King's Landing. They died protecting men, women, and children who will never know their names. And now their watch is ended. And now their watch is ended. Soon some fire go up. Here she come. <laughs> Unbelievable. Your old blind man patched me up. Why? He sworn to treat all wounded men, friend or foe. You want me alive so you can torture me? No one's gonna torture you. So how do we die? Hanging? Beheading? Drop us from the top of the wall. I don't know what happens to the prisoners. Who decides? I suppose Stannis does. Yeah. You're your king now. I don't have a king. You spent too much time with us, John Smith. Yeah. Snow. Did you love her? She loved you. She told you? No. All she ever talked about was killing you. That's how I know. Okay. She belongs in the north. The real north. You understand me? Bran, Odor, tell up to. Looking cold as hell, that's for sure. We're not going to make it. Huh. 
Damn, why you ain't say something before? Jojen! Dead. Look, Jojen, look! Oh, shit. Damn, who is this? Come with me, Brandon Stark. He is lost. Damn. Come with me or die with him. Go with him. You better get your ass up, man. It's messed up, that's your little brother. <sighs> Mercy killing. Man, this is what's more army of darkness shit. Damn. What the heck? I mean, she was going to die. Why'd she have to blow him up? And what is she throwing? Man, what the heck? Thou shall not enter, they I guess. They follow us. The power that moves them is powerless here. Who are you? The first men called us the children, but we were born long before them. Come, he waits for you. No, we get into all the mythical stuff now. I mean, he had to leave me right next to this skull right here. You're the three-eyed raven. I've been many things. Now, I am what you see. And yeah, what the hell is that? My brother, he led us to you, and now he... He knew what would happen. From the moment he left, he knew, and he went anyway. How do you know? I've been watching you. All of you. All of your lives. With a thousand eyes and one. Now you come to me at last, Brandon Stark. I didn't want anyone to die for me. He died so you could find what you have lost going to help me walk again you'll never walk again but you will fly hmm okay okay Patrick. 
Podrick, and I forgot about Brian and Pod. Where are the horses? I hobbled them last night. What sort of hobble? Figure eight, like you taught me. If you did it like I taught you, then the horses would be here. Thieves, maybe? It's at least 30 miles to the Erie from here. You're carrying saddlebags. Yes. Oh, damn. <laughs> we ain't got to go to Gary. People coming. Morning. Morning. I like the sword. Are we getting close to the bloody gate? About 10 more miles. See that, Podrick? Only 10 more miles to the bloody gate. Seven blessings. I'm Brienne of Tarth. This is Podrick Payne. You want something? <laughs> and send all Clegane, the hound. You are your Stark. I asked if you wanted. Oh damn! I swore to your mother I would bring you home to her. My mother's dead. I know. I wish I could have been there to protect her. You're not a northerner. No, but I swore a sacred vow to protect her. Why didn't you? She commanded me to bring Jamie Lannister back to King's Landing. You paid by the Lannisters. You here for the bounty on me? I'm not paid by the Lannisters. No. Ah, uh, damn. Fancy sword you got there. Where'd he get it? Jamie Lannister gave me the sword. The bloody gate's ten miles. I swore to your mother by the old I don't care you. what you swore. Oh, yeah. You had the girl. She's not coming with you. She is. Oh, You're shit. Not a listener. Valerian steel. I always wanted some Valerian steel. Come with me, Arya. I'll take you to safety. Safety? Where the fuck's that? Hmm. Her auntie Neary's dead. Her mother's dead. Her father's dead. Her brother's dead. Hmm. Winterfell is a pile of rubble. There's no safety, you dumb bitch. You don't know that by now. You're the wrong one to watch over her. And that's what you're doing? Watching over her? He is, though. Aye, that's what I'm doing. Damn, I don't want this fight. But I do want it. Alright, fuck it, let's go. I don't know who I'm moving for, though. Damn. <laughs> Damn, you just two of my favorite characters right now. Is one of them not gonna make it out of this? I have no wish to kill you, sir. What the hell? I'm not a knight. Damn, I thought that was it. Oh, shit. Damn. Man, this is a battle right here. Ooh. Ooh. This shit is brutal. Yo. Oh, I thought that was a bigger clip. Yo, she just beat the shit out the hell. But where Arya at, though? Because Arya might sneak up on her with that damn needle and put it through her neck. That's her move now. Arya! Arya! Where is she? 
She was just here. Why weren't you watching her? I was watching you. I thought you might need some help. Which way, Pot? Which way did she go? Uh, I, I think that way. Damn. Damn, is Ari about the needle the hound? I mean, he still is on the list. You still here? Yeah. Big bitch saved you. You're gonna die. Unless there's a maze to hide behind that rock. I... Yeah. I'm done. by a woman. I bet you like that. Go on. Go after her. She'll help you. You remember where the heart is. I'm ready. Damn, man. Go on, girl. Not a name off your list. I cut down your butcher's boy. The ginger. He was begging for mercy. Please, sir. Please don't kill me. Please, please. Your sister. Your pretty sister. I should have taken her. That night the black water burned. I should have fucked her bloody. At least I'd have one happy memory. I know you try to get her to kill you, but man. Do I have to beg you? Do now, it. is she hesitating because she doesn't want to or because she just wants him to suffer? Do it. Or she wants him to beg. Kill me. Kill me. All right. Kill me. Yep, she wants his ass to suffer. Kill me. Oh, get on with it, you son of a whore. Is that any way to speak about her mother? Rescue mission? What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Galley's waiting in the bay bound for the free cities. Who's helping you? Ferris. Ferris? You have more friends than you thought. Oh, shit. It's a locked door at the top of the stairs. Knock on it twice. Not twice again. Ferris will open. I suppose this is goodbye then. I think Cersei go kill Jamie for this. Hang on now. Is this some kind of setup? Nah, Jamie wouldn't do that though. Jamie wouldn't do that, but Varys, I don't know. Man, this don't look like no escape. What the hell's that? I know that ain't shit. Is that uh Shay and Tywin? Get the 
video for us. That's it. Snap her damn neck. No, no, I don't know if she's dead yet. Hold it a little tighter, a little longer. Uh, what my man Terry about to do? Damn. Put down the crossbow. Uh, we'll go and talk in my chambers. Ain't no talking. Is how you want to speak to me. Hmm. Shaming your father has always given you pleasure. All that? my life, you've wanted me dead. Yes. Uh. But you refused to die. I respect that. You can admire it. Now we're here sitting out. What's yours? I'd never let them execute you. Is that what you fear? Huh. I'll never let Ellen Payne take your head. You're a Lannister. Who? Shay. Put down that crossbow. I murdered her. With my own hands. She was a whore. Say that word again. And what? You'll kill your own father in the privy? No. You're my son. Now, enough of this nonsense. I am your son. And you sentenced me to die. Pray. You knew I didn't poison Joffrey, but you sentenced me all the same. Why? Enough. We'll go back to my chambers and speak with some dignity. I can't go back there. She's in there. Well, are you afraid of a dead whore? Done. <laughs> Told you not to say it. Told you not to say it. You shot me. Son. I have always been your son. What have you done? Quickly. <laughs> what have I done? You knew what I was about hey, to my do. Friend, I brought you this far. I think I've been saying it since season two. Tyrion deserves to be the one to kill Tywin. Damn, so what's next for Arya? I mean, what's she about to head? I want to see the captain. You're seeing him. I want to go north. Please. I could work, scrubbing the floors. I'm not of... going north, child. I'm going home. Where's home? The free city of Bravos. No, oh, okay. Wait, yeah, I'll go there I too. Something else. More silver won't make a difference. It's not silver. 
It's iron. Say the words. How did you? Valam Gaulis. How do I Of course. You shall have a cabin. Okay, yeah. I like it. Damn, Arya looking grown as hell, man. She done been through some shit. All right, so another season down. Listen, there is a lot to unpack in that episode. First of all, let me just say, justice served. Tyrion was the one who was supposed to drive a stake through Tywin's heart. Could be more happy with that. I had kind of forgot about what Shay did a couple of episodes ago. I'm so glad he strangled her to death with his own bare hands. Now, I know how that sounds. I'm not a violent person, but in this world, listen, you just got to kill people. I'm sorry. That's the only way to deal with problems. Kill the ass. But listen, man, yes, that episode was great. That season was great. I can't wait to get everything edited so that way I can go back in the lab and do me a whole season four recap. I might even record my uh, history and lore for season four. I'll watch them all. I just haven't recorded it. So maybe I'll do that. I, you know, let me think about it. But anyways, man, yes, that was just excellent TV over the last couple of days. And honestly, I'm looking forward to season five. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys come back for the next season. I mean, it's only going to be a couple of days because that's how we do things right here. Make sure y'all come back and check me out. Peace.